Hi Sheeksers, hi YouTube, hope your day is going well. Like the title says, today's video is all about transitional dressing. I'm gonna be sharing with you my top tips for transitioning your summer basics right into fall. <laughs> If you're new here, my name is Chi Chi and I cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if that sounds like something you're into then sis, you are in the right place. Get comfortable. If you love fall, fashion, you know, pumpkin spice and everything nice, everything, <laughs> you know, crisp mornings where you can just like cozy up and you know, just, you know, indulge in something nice and toasty, then make sure to hit that like button because it's our favorite season, okay? I don't know about you guys, but I love fall because you know, you really get to play around with textures and patterns and prints and you can really do a lot with your style, but it's also like warm enough for you to want to actually be outside for people to see what you have on, if you know what I mean. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So during the summer, we're all about our flowy blouses and our open toes. We're gonna substitute our open toes for boots and our flowy blouses for turtlenecks. Okay, one of the biggest tips I can give you when it comes to dressing or transitioning your summer favorites for fall would be to opt for closed toes, okay? If it's still hot where you are, but you wanna give those fall vibes, like let's say you live in the South, you know, then the best tip I can give to you is to look for closed toe shoes with cutouts or perforations. They still give you that closed toe look, but allow air to circulate, which will keep you still cool in the heat, okay? Sometimes you gotta fake it until you can make it, all right? For this look, I went with white denim, which is a summer basic and favorite. And as you can see for right now, I would style with this gorgeous lace top and then some clear mules. And I have a look for brunch, to hang out with friends, for date night, etc., etc. Now, if I wanted to take this look into the fall, I would take off that lace blouse and swap it for a lace turtleneck, yes. Okay, so we're still keeping the essence of the look. And then I threw on some cognac colored booties. And so we're still keeping that light palette, but totally making it appropriate for fall. Now this is probably a look I would wear closer to October, November here where I live in the mid-Atlantic because it doesn't really get cold until like October, November over here. Comment down below, when does it start feeling like fall where you're at, okay? So this is a perfect look that you can also wear to the same places, hang out with friends, maybe a fall brunch, is that a thing? Um, date night for sure, you could totally wear this as well. I love all white in the fall and winter. I think there's just something super chic about it. Let me know your thoughts on this look. The next tip I want to give that kind of like ties in with this outfit is to throw on a hat, okay? Something about throwing on these like felt hats or even like felt fedoras or even like a beret just gives off that fall look. So you can literally be wearing a white t-shirt and some jeans and some boots and once you throw on the hat, it kind of brings the entire look together and makes it seem super fall and just, you know, appropriate for the season. A beret will also do the same thing. And I think a beret is a nice option if you wanna add like, you know, headgear, but you, maybe you work in an office. This might be a little bit too much for the office setting, but definitely you can rock a beret to work. Another outfit combo that never fails as we transition into fall is going to be dresses and boots, specifically short dresses and booties. As soon as you throw on that the booties, it takes that fun summer dress into fall. And I especially love, like to really nail this look, you would want a short dress with at least three quarter sleeves or long sleeves. There's so many gorgeous like chiffon style dresses that are made this way and once you throw on on your booty and maybe a crossbody bag. It's totally giving you fall vibes. And then if you really wanna finish it off, you could throw on your 
felt hat, okay? And you will nail, you're instantly nailing the whole fall look. So all you have to do is swap out your accessories, put down your slides or your sandals, okay? And maybe your straw hat and swap them out for a felt hat and some booties and you have a look. Now, if it's a little bit cooler, then you could also add a layer. You could throw on a denim jacket if it's just a little bit cool and, or you could throw on a biker jacket if it's even cooler where you are. Okay, now one of the easiest ways, okay, to really give that fall vibes and really transition your summer favorites, your favorite pair of white jeans or your favorite dress is to make your palette a little bit moodier. Okay, so you're looking for moodier tones. Definitely, you can always still go for your neutral tones, but like, you know, start incorporating some emerald greens, some burgundies, some just jewel tones, moodier tones, and then animal prints. Animal prints are perfect for fall and really help to signal those fall vibes. Speaking of animal prints, in this outfit here, you see me, I'm pairing like snake skin print skirts. Right now I'm pairing my snake print skirt with a simple tank top. I love these high neck style tank tops and they also transition really well with fall for fall and then some fun little slides. Now transitioning into fall I'm going to just add a simple layer. I added a leather jacket and I swapped out my slides for a pair of sneakers. Remember swap number one swap for closed toed shoes. So the next tip I'm going to give you is shown in this outfit as well and it is to mix in heavier fabrics. So your leathers, your suede, okay, your chunkier knits. Now if it's still hot where you are, you can still fake it here for opting for like a coated jean. So you're still getting that leather look that looks a little bit heavier, but it's actually not a real leather. So it's not as warm and it's a lot more breathable. Mixing in those heavier fabrics like a chunky knit with a satin skirt will, and a close toe maybe booty will help give you that fall vibes. But it's also perfect because if the weather isn't quite cold enough, the lightness of the skirt will help to keep you cool in the heat. So fall is the perfect season to play around with those layers, okay? To play around with your color palette, you know, pull out those leather jackets, those shackets, those even like flannels, your boyfriend's shirt, etc., etc. You can really layer as much or as little depending on the weather and then I love to always add in something a little bit more androgynous to my looks and I feel that really helps to give that evoke that fall look. So if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to hit that like button and to share. For more videos just like this, all you have to do is subscribe now and turn on those notifications. When I'm not on YouTube, you can always find me on Instagram for daily-ish fashion and style inspo. I also, you know, throw in a little bit of, you know, beauty, a little bit of lifestyle cooking, you know, all of that good stuff happens over there. And if you have any burning questions, okay, maybe you're about to check out and you're not sure about sizing or fit, you can always slide into my DMs. I respond in real time over there. And let me know in the comments below, what is your go-to fall outfits? And are you as excited as I am for things to cool off? I don't know about y'all, but this summer was like a little bit brutal with them 95 degree weeks, okay? And just imagine having to shoot campaigns and outfits. <laughs> Woo child, it was, it was rough, it was rough, it was rough. If you have any questions about what I have on, make sure to check the description box down below. I will try my best to include links to everything. If something you're looking for is not there check out shop my outfits link down below where i pretty much link everything that i feature 
okay? Oh, speaking of that, <laughs> everything that I feature is linked on the Like to Know It app, the LTK app. So if you are looking for something that I shared two weeks ago or a month ago or six months ago from like an older video, you can find it nine times out of 10 on the Like to Know It app. And if you download the app, you can actually search my profile. So you can search for dresses, jackets, boots, hats, all this good stuff. You can actually search for it if you have the app. So in addition to that, you can save things, create lists that you can come back to later and get tons of outfit and style inspiration on the app. If you enjoy this video, I'm sure you would like this video and this video as well. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed.